Let's get right into the news. Is somebody's fucking calling me? God damn it! Is it Jack Chang? No. Why is this? Why you gotta call right when we start the damn show? Don't they know that we're do? Isn't this shit worldwide? Don't they know we're? He must have known that we we're going live. So while Kyle and I are literally starting, I got a phone call as well. The guy's name is Jack Chang. See Def- this? Definitely so an Asian what- guy. So what happened the other day, I got a thing and it was like, hey, you've been set up for Verizon's seven day trial of uh, call. What's it called? Uh, not call waiting when you uh, caller ID. So it's Verizon's new thing It's caller ID. So it's like you'll get a call that will say potential spam and it'll like come up like that. Yeah. All I, I get are these, though. But the, the spammers and scammers have already caught on to like how Verizon does it. And so I'll get like names. So like Jack Chan came up. Uh, I had just Alex call me the other day. Bri- Brittany Clark, Brittany Clark oh, called me. Those. Paul Zabinski called me the other day, and then potential spam. So they they've already found a way to like adapt it to to fixing it. Why does Verizon even try, dude? It's the shit. The game's already over. I get like so. Sometimes I just give. So like yes, uh, when was it? When I golfed uh, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesdays. So I gave this unknown number the benefit of the doubt. Usually I answer it and it's like, hello? And then it starts ringing. And uh, then it's like an Indian dude that's just like, hey, wh- hello. <laughs> I'm like, uh, hello, you called me. I don't know. So basically with these Indian dudes, like, I don't know if they can tell. Like, this motherfucker ain't fucking, this ain't no old fuck. Like, we can't take advantage yeah. of this guy. You know how many times I get called and it's an actual person, like an Indian dude, and they just hang up? And I'm like, how can I help you? Hello? Dude, and th- so. And that's... they just fucking hang up. They must recognize, like, I'm a middle-aged white man. And they're like, ah, oh, nah, we can't take advantage of this fucker. Well, they, so they, what they do is they, they probably have a script, right? So, uh, when I was a telemarketer, technically, because I called people, like, but we called people who we had their information like who recently had purchased a product from our company and we were calling them to see like, Hey, you bought this, you know, six months ago, you're interested in this new add on. Yeah. That was my job. Still felt scummy sometimes. Cause I kind of would push people into things that maybe they didn't need. But when, right, right, right when I was leaving the company to go back to school, I only worked there for three months. They uh, set up what's called an auto dialer. And what the auto dialer is, is basically what the calls that we get now, but on a way lower scale. So seven, basically seven computers are set up down the thing and then they pay these people minimum wage and then they sit there and all they do is so the thing dials 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 and if a live person picks up they stick to a quick three script like three word script like hey how are you doing this evening yeah. if they give a positive response response they transfer them to a salesperson that's when i was like yeah i'm out of this game yes yeah, so i'll like get a call and it just you know it'll f- just start ringing on my end i'm like what in the fuck like is it really gotten that bad but i get it because they they it's all about volume and you know finding that you know the people that are actually gonna buy shit well think about it this way they're probably paying those people in india this is like a, a ballpark and i'm probably overestimating but probably three bucks an hour to sit there if that dude and so t- for them to sit there for three let's say they had 100 people let's say they're paying 300 bucks an hour Odds are the scam is going to be more than three hundred bucks to get one sale. Yeah, like it, it, they're they're probably just killing it. These people. I mean, is it a scam though, or are they selling a real product? See, I uh, see. That's what I don't know. I never give like you said. I never really give them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, the weird thing though is I'll get like, uh, the bet I've ever had was someone go. I talked to them for a while. I might have even told the story before, but they were like, uh, "We want to list, uh, get your ranking up on Google." So I'm talking to the guy and I'm going through this whole like pitch and I'm going, you know, I'm engaging with him and stuff. And I start asking him questions. I'm like, oh, so what's the deal with like, uh, you know, do I have to keyword stuff, certain articles? And he's like, uh, I'm not sure. I'm like, well, what if, uh, what if I take the H1 tags and, uh, I, you know, I title things around popular, popular news events. And he's just like, uh, I'm like, so you're trying to sell me something for two grand and I know more than you. And he was just like, uh, can uh, you talk to my supervisor and I'm like, yeah, I'd love to Jesus. so that I get passed on to the supervisor. And then the guy offered me a job. Really? <laughs> yeah. He's like, you should go work for me, man. You can, uh, you can come sell this stuff better than any of these guys. I'm like, <laughs> dang. Mm. But that was like when I, the only reason why I wasn't even good at that stuff, but I had just done like a, 
a, a webinar like make money online scam type one yeah like i paid 39 dollars was all excited i'm like man i'm about to get rich and i do this anything whole thing. you gotta pay to make money yep it's, well uh, my dad my dad hit me on the head and i've never forgot it from that day when he says if someone out there is so good at something they're not just going to give it away like and, all these amazon dudes that are exactly. like come sell on amazon come sell on shopify because yeah, if like, you have a secret ticket why would you, I mean, why would you create your own competition? And I get that some people want to give back. Yeah, but that's not how you give back. But it's a lot easier to tell somebody to do something than actually do it yourself. Yeah. Um, if you're making a million dollars a day, like some of these guys claim they are. Like, why would you go, oh, I really care about your $39. So. Yeah, exactly. So speaking of like the Indian dude, so I, I'm having somebody make me a cat. Well, I'm having somebody I, I hit up on Twitter and make me a CAD file, but I'm like, I might as well just ask, you know, a few other people so there's got to be some cad experts on um on fiverr right so fiverr yeah, yeah, yeah. is a lot of basically you just get cheap work and so i was looking for people to do this cad file and in his thing it says like top of the line production of this cad file you get 2d 3d drawings animations renderings for 20 bucks i'm like fuck okay i don't need all that stuff but I, you know the 10 dollar package was just for the 3d drawing and so you talk to the person and tell them what you need and they go, oh, okay. Like, so basically what I'm doing is a super fucking simple project. Like it's literally no engineering, no anything. I even gave them the model that I wanted them to basically mimic. And this motherfucker goes, all right, that'll be 50 bucks. And I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, did your prices change or uh, your, your fucking listing says $20. And he's like, how about this special for you? I'll do 30. And I'm like, how the fuck is that special? When you literally are saying that you're going to do this full blown, like huge project, you know, for 20 bucks for somebody else who wants to like engineer stuff. And you're going to come back at me and you're going to tell me for this most fucking simple project that it's 50 bucks. And then and lower it 20 on the, yeah. on the downs. Really. What? No, do you lower it? No, no. He said special for you. Um, 40. So we learned, I'm like, how the fuck is this? What are you talking about? Like, your fucking <laughs> listing, which got me attracted to you, said 20 bucks tops for the top of the line shit. And I don't even want, the, I want fucking a tenth of the top of the line shit, you know? Like, he's like, like his full blown package, like you can make like a full like engineered mechanical device. And he's like, I'll do the engineering and everything. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I want a single piece like project. Well, what the fuck are you smoking, dog? Dude, Fiverr is another interesting world. So I've done, I've gotten like graphics and stuff there before, just like really cheap ones just to like, a lot of times I'll just use it to jumpstart like my own. I'll just like copy it, you know? Yeah. In the same situation one time, I needed a character, a character, like there's like a mascot type thing done. And I sent the dude the picture and everything. And he's like, oh yeah, sounds good. Be done in seven days. I'm like, oh, it's kind of a long time. I don't feel like paying more. I'll wait seven days. Yeah. Six days comes and he's like, Hey, you can pay me uh $10 more and I'll, I'll finish this in 24 hours. Like it came up as like an add on. I'm like, hold what? on a second. Don't you have to finish it in 24 hours anyway? So I let it go. And then he, at the end of seven days was like, uh, Oh, sorry. I didn't get it done. You don't have to pay me. What? So he was like, just, he probably just d does it and then hopes someone will pay the extra $10. And a then terrible review. Yeah, I gave him why well, he automatically if he charges it back, it dings him instantly. But I don't I think he's like we were talking about earlier. I think he's just a volume guy. Yeah. He hopes to catch somebody being like, God, oh, it's ten more bucks and I get it with like tomorrow. I'll do mm -hmm. it. Yeah, a little back to the call stuff though. So like all these spam numbers, like I'll answer and a computer will be like it'll, it'll go and then be like, This is Ann. Like oh, I'm not gonna good. fucking talk to a robot, you know, like and then they, I'm starting to get like the threatening like IRS calls and shit like that. Like, like this is your last. Like, I'm like the IRS doesn't fucking do this. They don't even call people. Like, they well, just I, send you some serious ass mail. I uh, got I got my car from you, and I'll get like you're you are delinquent on your car payment. I'm like, dude, I'm 30. I've never had a car payment. Oh, like, dude, you, my I used to have. <laughs> But it's I'm, scary. It is still scary when you get that. Like, well, wait, do I have a car payment? <laughs> yeah. It, was it, is it adding up? So I always get one for my old truck. I had a 2012 F 150. And I didn't have it for, I had it for, you know, like a year or two, I think. Um, but I still get people saying, like, uh, looks like your warranty's out of date on your 2012 F 150. And I literally probably got like 60 calls. 
And I'm like, I don't know what list I'm on, but give me the fuck off because you guys call me. I haven't had this truck in five years. Like, what the fuck yeah. is your problem? Yeah, leave me alone. You should just start going along with it and be like, yeah, I'll take that warranty. Yeah. Yeah. But I, well, no, then they, so they have their spiel for if somebody says that and she's just like, well, maybe we can help you out with your current vehicle's truck or your current. It's like when you go into the bank and they're always, every time I'm with you, they're like, oh, by the way, do you want this? You're like, no. Yeah, no, I don't. Just leave me the I'm fuck alone. I'm here to deposit a check. Leave yeah, me alone. If I wanted, like, I made the mistake one day of thinking I wanted, like, a business credit. Well, I, I do have a credit card, but, like, an actual business credit card. And, oh, my God, like, they're like, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about, well, yeah, when we were doing the supplements, I'm like, I'm thinking about doing, uh, getting, like, a business credit card, which, thank God we didn't do that. Yeah. Um, and, like, they're like, oh, okay, I'll get fucking Mark from corporate to hit you up. I'm like, uh. Mark probably calls you 15 times oh, a day. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, how, when can we set up a time? He's texting me and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, you're just invading my privacy. <laughs> and what, what's interesting is, like, I mean, I don't know what's the i don't know if they're what the john john was not the right word i don't know what type of people that they think being over overly like like car salesman is the same way like i know that this is like we're in 2000 what are we 18 19 20 what are we 2018 i don't remember yes yeah, but at this here. point car salesmen still use like the same tactics and i feel like in my head at least everyone hates you and the way you sell stuff you would adapt and change oh but they fucking don't but we could go right now to the car lot and they would treat us the same way they've been treating people for the last 50 years which is over aggressive in your face that's the same thing with like like these people if they were like nonchalant being like hey if you have time like we could help you you'd be like oh that's nice yeah I'll do it. but when people start like badgering you and stuff it almost turns you off like a car salesman yeah the worst thing like a car salesman like i guess I I've always had my car picked out before I've gone into like a lot. Um, besides like when I was in college and me, we bought Rachel's first car, a Mazda six, something like that. Kind of cool car, but we bought it because I would take pictures at car lots. And so I had like, you know, friends that, you know, or not, not friends, but fucking people I knew at car lots. Yeah. And, uh, so the only time I've bought a used car, well, I guess, I think the Jeep was actually used. So, but besides that, so I have all my trucks, I they were new trucks. And so I just went and found the exact one I wanted. But like when we did this Mazda and they were still like, I was like, <clears throat> I would go in there. It was just like a two man lot, a really small one in Yakima. And they fucking knew me. And I'd be like, yeah, we kind of like that Mazda. And they would be like, Oh, but what about this fucking Bronco? And we're just like, what? Like, they just take, they have to like take like Hail Marys, you know, like, like trying to, con like, especially like, like buying like used cars and like, you like a low, um, low volume lot. And like, I get it, but it's just like, what the fuck yeah, are you yeah, talking yeah. about? Like, how is that even close to similar? Oh, well, my so camera is leaking got, out. He's got fuzzy. What's going Whoa. on? Whoa. <laughs> we're the Matrix. Uh, Andy, when we were going to get uh, for his car, he had me go with dude. We what is with. going on, Doug? <laughs> Why is this wigging out? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, he looked like a Snapchat filter for a second. Oh, make sure you guys do the zip recruiter read. Oh, thanks, Burns. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you even have it? No, but I can... Uh, Hold on one sec. I had a good story. One sec. Okay. Well, let's talk. What the fuck? I don't even know what's going on here. I might have to set up my other camera. That shit kind of wigged out for there a second. Did it burn out? Damn. Well, I'll keep him entertained while I do this. Yeah. Well, well, I'm going to keep him entertained while I just realized. So <laughs> I'm not going to. I don't, I don't want to say the company because I'm probably going gonna, gonna to read the ad for it. But there's a certain company we're supposed to read on Monday. And we kind of forgot and Jimmy just messaged me and said, make sure you guys do that uh, ad read and Burns is the ad read guy, which everyone knows. So yeah, classic Burns here. Kyle, did you ask for the write up? What yeah, the he fuck? Coming. Yeah. So, okay. I, so, God damn it. Where's my fucking video? Yeah. We need your video before. Okay. While you're getting your video set up, I got to finish this car. All right, you, you keep talking to him. I got to fix it. All right. So the car salesman story is so Andy, my, you know, one of my good buddies, he's like, uh, okay, I'm going to download this. Got it. Except this is good radio right here. People, by the way, we were in such a flow there. 
Okay, so we go. He's like, hey, come with me. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I don't want to go to the car place. So he has a pretty nice Cadillac CT, the, like the car version, whatever. We go to this lot, and he's like trying to get a trade-in at a certain price and then uh, a new car. And then uh, he wants like an SUV, like an Explorer, one of those ones. So he's was almost the same situation where we're looking at him, and he sees uh, like one he likes. He's like, oh, yeah, I, I want this one. What's What can my trade-in be? So they're like, oh, we'll give you – like 8k for your Cadillac. And then he's like, "Oh man, that's not enough. Then I'd still have to pay this much for this car." So then they go and look at a nicer SUV, but he didn't like it. It was like a uh what is the Cadillac like a uh, competition, like a Lincoln Navigator. They go look at that one. So it's a more expensive car. And then they raise his Cadillac price up to 10 grand. So they're like, "Oh, we'll give you 10 for it now." because it was a more expensive car. So then we started realizing, oh, well, there's the margin. So these dudes literally went and said that, uh, yeah, we can only give you 8,000 for this car. Whoa, gun. There's a gun on TV. We can literally only give you 8,000 for it. But then when he wanted a more expensive car, they upped it to 10. So then he asked for 10 and then the other car, then they got all pissed and we left and it was awkward. Kind of funny. I just realized Kyle couldn't hear that whole story. so. Now it's like one of those times where it's like, hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed that story out there. Uh, all right, I'm going to read this sad real quick. It's a loud one. Well, I hope everyone's having a great Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Shout out uh, to you guys. Tip recruiter. Da, 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 da. All right, we'll wait one more second to see if Kyle's coming back right here. Uh, oh, he's zooming in on this thing. If you guys are radio listening right now, Kyle lost his webcam a few minutes ago. He's fixing it. It is now zooming in and out, and he is back on on the on the headset. Jesus Christ! We can hear him. He's, hey, hey. he's got a little different angle now, but he's here. Yeah, fuck me. Um. All right, tell a quick thing. I got to read this thing first. You're, then, reading, uh, you're reading it first and then reading it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just really quick. Okay. So this place is a shit show. Let's uh, talk a little shit real quick. Wait, hold on. Uh, what, what's your mic? Say something. No, nah, I was away from it. Oh, me. okay, 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 okay. Sorry. I, I wasn't I, looking I wasn't looking at you. I just could hear you because I have the ad read up. Yeah, I just so said, I like, let's talk a little shit real quick, which I really enjoy doing. It's probably one of my worst habits. But or would that be your best habit? Probably my best. It's like when I have like the best conversations with my wife when I'm talking shit about people. I enjoy it. Um, so, Jimmy, we know Jimmy's a busy guy. Um, does sometimes he maybe act a little busier just to be like, well, fuck, I don't feel like doing an hour podcast right now because I got to at least go do this at this time. I can't do it right now. Like, I, I'll give him that, right? Burns... This motherfucker, we're sitting here having a Skype conversation, talking about getting the show going. He is part of the conversation. And then me and Colby go, all right, it's uh, 10, 10, 1030. We're ready to go right now. And this motherfucker just goes, ah, I'm leaving. I'm not going to be back till later. Then I got a stream. Can't go today. Just like out of the fucking blue. Like what the, did, did that feel like that was out of the blue? Uh, I was surprised that after, uh, so the 50 cent song I always think about is you shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house. And if you've got a glass jaw, you should watch your mouth because I'll break your face. Oh. But Burns, who every episode will throw so many stones at Jimmy, who, like Kyle said, yeah, I mean, he probably doesn't have an hour, but he could have jumped in here and there. You know, he's, he's a busy guy, yada, yada, yada. But we understand it. We say that Burns just trolls him in his very every time. Hey, let's call him the guest. Let's call him the guest. Yeah. So to pull that was very surprising to me. Yeah, just the whole like ah, I ain't gonna. But he's that's not the first time he's done that. He's done that no, the lake multiple one. times. Like on the time we're like, hey, we're going right now, and he's like, oh, I'm on the way to the. I'm going to the lake uh, soon. And like, what? what the fuck you mean you're going to the? What the fuck were you gonna tell us all this? And he's telling us right now. But, like, I guess Jimmy's just got to the point where you just assume he's not going to be there. But uh, it's a nice little surprise every time. Me, on the other hand, man, I at least give 24 hours notice. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think you've had. There's only one time where you like were la- not even last second, but you were just like, "Hey, I don't think I'm gonna have service, but I'll still try." And yeah. that was like the day of type thing. But hey, let's uh, let's uh, talk about one of our favorite companies here. So as everyone knows, Kyle and I ran a business for a long time. And the hardest part was finding the right people to work with us. It took time. It took effort. You never know who was going to apply. It literally was the worst part about finding it. But working with ZipRecruiter, you can go to ZipRecruiter.com slash dude comedy. ZipRecruiter Zip Recruiter sends your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards. But they don't stop there, Right. With their powerful matching technology, ZipRecruiter scans thousands of resumes to find the right people and the right experience and invite them to apply for your job. As applicants come in, ZipRecruiter analyzes each one of them and spotlights the top candidates so you never miss a great match. Basically, it's like Tinder for your job. Mm. With results like this, it's no wonder that ZipRecruiter is the highest rated hiring site in America. And right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash DudeComedy. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash D-U-D-E-C-O-M-E-D-Y. ZipRecruiter.com slash DudeComedy. Yeah, ZipRecruiter yeah. is the smartest way to hire. And what is so funny is I have a topic right now. Is this still the ad? That comes with the ad. Dave Levy, we talked about him on the show before. Here's this tweet right here. He said, I have, I interviewed a handful of girls for a job last week and the majority of them didn't even look remotely similar to the images they sent in. I didn't even recognize them in person. Why would you catfish an interview? Ooh. What are the odds that we would be talking about that right now? And I want to talk about the show. Well, I screenshotted it because I was like, Hey, we're in a time now where I said, this is a good time. Desperation. Dude, there is the Tinder Instagram lifestyle to where there's filters and this and angles and this and that. And this poor guy who runs a, a business <laughs> doesn't even recognize people showing up. That's crazy. That's fucking. That is absolutely insane. crazy. So, so I'm gonna it is. Uh, what's what's the what's the place? The, the- uh, Sub Zero. Uh, if you're in Vegas, check out Sub Zero Recovery. If you want to get into a cryo chamber and do a bunch of fancy stuff. No, no, I meant. <laughs> The other the, for, what the ad, for the oh, ad. Oh, ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter.com slash dude comedy. Slash dude comedy. Let's see. I'm gonna send him the link. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Um oh, so Burns has his stream up that says starting soon. Uh for a second I thought he was actually on. He was about to catch some fucking hands from this guy. I was gonna say something too. What did I f- mean to say? Was it about Burns and Jimmy or about ZipRecruiter.com slash dude comedy? Man, I had something just spectacular I was going to talk about. Was it spicy? I have another spicy thing we can maybe this can get you going right. again. Oh, no, that's what I was going to show. Okay, go, go, go. Check out this shit, dog. Whoa, what the weapon? Oh. Oh. That's, and it's actually sharp as shit. Dude, yeah, easy. What is yeah. a freaking, what's that called, a cleaver? Yeah, so basically... So basically, you know, with Instagram, Instagram fame comes little perks and stuff, you know. Um, oh my gosh! Did you hear that? I hey, drop that on your desk. Oh, I want to hear this. Well, so it's, it's dude. Uh, that is, it's that is not um, fucking paper mache, dog. For the people listening, not watching right now, Kyle had a uh, meat no? cleaver. Meat cleaver, the size of a horror movie villain. Yeah, it's say. like a yeah, it's like a like a weapon from some scary movie. But basically, a dude. So I so ba- I had to reinvent myself on Instagram, right? I mean, you know, I got I got um, deleted a couple years year ago, and I was like, I gotta fucking reinvent myself, be a little bit more family friendly. So I'm like, I'll just like I love throwing tomahawks, like. You know, me and Colby did some wild ass throws. You know, got on ridiculousness. <laughs> Nothing yeah, big fucking whoop. big. Famous. Uh, but I've been talking to this dude the whole time. His name was. Um, let me make sure I don't. I don't fuck it up because I want to actually give him a little love. I'm, I'm gonna make a video and stuff with it, but I just want to make sure I. I it's, it's vintage something. Let's see, vintage. I think it's just vintage knives, and it should come up because I'm friends with him, but. Uh, it's not fucking. What the fuck is this doing? What is up with Instagram? Oh, upbeat vintage. Okay, see, I see. I, I really would have screwed that up. Upbeat vintage. Um, so I, 
he hit me up when, when I first started posting the Tomahawk stuff. And he's like, dude, I used to always love your shit, yada, yada, yada. And he finally actually sent me something. And I was like, damn, well, you know, I've got a little clout to my name. So I'll, I'll basically what I think I'm going to do with this cleaver, you know, it's a, it's a meat cleaver. But, I mean, it's obviously like more just like an um, antique. But I'm going to fucking cook. I'm going to get a handful of sirloins and just splash. Oops. Oh, like uh, salt bay type stuff. Yeah, and I'll put a plate under it, and I'll throw the tama or I'll throw the cleaver and try and cut the steak, and uh, cut it, and then when the piece falls off onto the plate, and then I eat it. You know, like how you real should, men, uh, you know, eat steak. You should pour Bud Light on it as your steak sauce too. Oh yeah, that'd be fucking good. So like, as you go over, like, have a really, really good looking steak. Like I'm saying, do you like your green egg finish? So you have like that nice crust. Yeah. And then right after you cut it, like, show it kind of medium rare, more rare, and then like have the camera and then like pin back just a little bit, and then just have you pour a little Bud Light and take a bite because yeah. it'll just piss everyone off. Yeah. Or or uh, like dip it in mustard or something like just something <laughs> yeah. or ketchup, gross. ketchup, ketchup, yeah. ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. Yeah. Like, yeah, also I'll be like, I'll just at the beginning be like, how real man eat steaks. I'm not fucking just super badass, like, tss, like have it up yep. to like 900 degrees. Yeah. And then I fucking take it over there and I set it on there and uh, I fucking chop it in half and I grab it with my hand and I go, and I dip it in ketchup and take a bite. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, video. Yeah. That's the video. Um, Ketchup is probably better than Bud Light. Bud Light, the, the, the more, that's more of a meme. The, yeah. the ketchup the ketchup will get a worse reaction though oh like yeah a, a more outrage yeah because sure. i'll just or do it like super by a bazillion i'll just be super fucking manly the whole time how real fucking man eat steaks and then tap yeah, tap yeah, pop yeah, pop yeah, tap yeah. i actually had another funny instagram no, I, I basically good. like write down all my notes for instagram just because it's i i instagram is my favorite platform hands down besides you guys here but yeah. um podcast is great i love doing the podcast but what was my other little... I can't believe Burns did that to us, man. He hasn't done something like that in a while to where I'm actually yeah. sitting here kind of spewing. I'm a little upset. Yeah, we should... Uh... Oh, so I still... So I th- remember the old idea I thought about for Instagram? It would, or just like a short video. Like, it would it would be super easy for us to do. We should do it tonight. Um, basically, it's called... It's called like... Uh, how to sneak a beer into a bar. So oh, the peace out, one. Like outside, like in your car, you fucking chug it, and then you, you go inside and uh, ask for a cup. Ask for a cup. Be like, can I get a water cup? And then you walk in the bathroom and you you know throw it in the sink, the the water in the sink, and then you go into the stall and you puke the beer out into the cup. <laughs> just uh, I don't want to film that one. I'm well, so so water. basically, what I'm gonna do is we'll just tri- we won't actually. I'll chug the beer, right? So then we'll go in, I'll get the water cup, um, go into the bathroom, and then I'll close the stall, or like we'll we'll swap the camera out at one point, and then we'll, we'll, I won't actually puke. So I'll go into the stall. Oh, I see, I see. I'll go into the stall, and then that's like, you like put it up on the door, and then you open the door. Like we'll flip it, at, or like you aim it down at one point, you know? That is a good one, though. Yeah, and then... Um, the shock factor there is nice, too. Yeah, then I just go into... I go into the bathroom and I'll I'll just have the beer in my mouth and make it look like I'm throwing up. I'm not actually just gonna go into a bar. I like I can't force myself to puke, you know. That would be funny though. It's a, it's a one of my f- favorite ideas that I've never done. What else do I have in here? The uh, you had another one that's like this is really comp. It's a more complicated one, but it was such a good troll. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, I have I got my list right here. Look at that, dude. Look at that list. Ooh, hey, hey, hey. Ooh. I don't read that. So uh I also thought it would be funny, like a quick, you know, just a quick Instagram video, like a uh you know how on, on a shark tank they're like they always have like a throwback or not a throwback, but they'll like a um a, like they catch up with the old like good product or whatever. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah, see yeah, how yeah. they're doing now. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah It'd be yeah. so funny if you like get that bit. And like you, you know, you get the audio and stuff, and it's like, let's see how fucking uh, su- the supplements are doing now. And they cut to us like fucking fighting like a bum for territory, or like <laughs> yeah. eating out of the trash, or like you know something like that. You know? Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. Or, or yeah, yeah. Um, I have one that I started editing yesterday. It is a video f- product, so it's a stock images, right? Mm-hmm. And it's for a, so it's going like, to look like a real product, but it is, so it's reverse. So I had the idea the other day 
so you know like if you're feeling sick when you're drunk right yeah it's like there's you can pull the trigger you can make yourself throw up and yeah it's like a you know it's not fun but you most of the time will feel better yeah your, your stomach's full like you do it sometimes when you eat too much like you know your stomach's full you're like nope i'm done i'm i'm, I'm letting this rip like a thro- actual no- throw up yeah 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 oh, like they- like in in hawaii yeah like, no i like yeah so i was thinking hey there's no such thing as that for your butt like dude my stomach really hurts i want to just like put my i want to poop there is but it's like you got to go get medicine so yeah. you know right but then i started thinking i'm like all right so that's a laxative is what you would want but a funny commercial would be so this whole thing is set up and there's like a woman running like you know on on the sidewalk and you got like a family playing in the park and you have the voiceover come in and it's just like tired of go- having to go on the go check out uh whatever stop pooping and what <laughs> stop pooping is the only is the revolutionary new product no to stop you from from having to go number two like have that build up in your stomach and have a guy being like oh and it's like take stop pooping stop pooping will block you up for yeah. days and then it's like are, so that a, a girl will be like yeah yeah, yeah are you are you going to your boy on a, a five-day vacation with a boyfriend you barely even know yeah, like, yeah, do yeah. you want to not shit to so, to avoid embarrassing yourself like stop pooping and then like uh i want to end it with like uh the like the voice where it's like stop pooping should not be taken if you have any problems with stop pooping can lead to uh to bigger poops and you may die make sure you check out stop pooping.com that's stop pooping.com so i already i started getting the clips together but my problem was i was laughing so hard like making it oh so you would just voice over i was gonna say like that's a lot of fucking yeah oh yeah the clips so you can get the clips it was like the clips, uh, you can do like a seven day free trial for this thing called like video blocks. Yeah. And then you can just download like five clips a day. And you, you could probably easily just take fucking like a commercial. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that's, yeah, that's, that's one of mine good. that I got starred. And then the, uh, the you might the, be, dude, you just got to find your fucking niche dog. Did you so post have, back I, on, did you post back on Instagram? No, no, your no. Instagram. So, okay. Guys. So here's a spoiler, guys. Here's a spoiler right now. I have sitting on. This is a great feeling, by the way. I'm sitting on right now. Oh, by the way, I just uh, mentioned you didn't notice my tag. Reverse balling, right? Ever seen Gucci? Yeah. Marshalls, huh? Seven ninety nine. This looks just like a Gucci shirt. Your, video, nice. your recent video has two thousand views, Colby. Yeah. So guess what? I'm sitting right now. Everyone listening, go check out my Instagram because I'm sitting on four videos, right? Now, here's my plan. I'm starting a huge project right now. Kyle knows about this. Uh, I've teased it to a few other people. I I do not want to come out with this project until I know it can be sustainable and successful in my own head. Like, I don't need to make, but like, if it makes money down the road, like, I'm not saying successful is like, I got to make money the first day. But I want I didn't want to be like my Fortnite stuff where I made five or six videos, people started getting excited about it, and then I was had a idea in my head where I'm like, this isn't good enough. So I stopped doing it. So this one, I'm sitting on Instagram videos, right? And then I have a longer video that I've been doing. It's 30 days. It involves this tape right here. It's 30 days. I've been filming myself. I'm on day six right now. So then after at some point, I'm gonna hit that 30 day, then I'll have that longer video. Then I have two seven day things. And then I have daily videos. I'm killing it right now. I'm in a whole new world. A whole new world. So this one right here is I'm I'm doing is it a video. Roll up? No, it's a measuring tape, right? So I'm testing a theory. If you do only push-ups, a hundred push-ups a day for 30 days, will you see a significant, you know, rise? Bulkage? Yeah. Will you look bigger? Yeah. And the point is just being like, why pay for a gym membership? Why do a bunch of fancy exercises if you can literally go right here? And do 100 push-ups, 20 at a time, 10 at a time, whatever in a day. So I'm testing right, it right now, I'm it, measuring myself. Yeah, so then you could that can do like you can do like push-ups, sit-ups, like you know, like hey, yeah. what if oh, I yeah. take this one thing out of my diet for 30 days? You know, yeah, yeah. Like you've well, done you that had, before actually, with beer. I have your idea. I have a. Uh, I have a. Uh, can you sustain the UFC a uh, UFC fighters like uh, diet for? Oh seven yeah, days. the weight, the weight the loss. Weight, yeah, weight loss. Because like that would be a, obviously a harder one, and that one you might have to like. I would be filming and find somebody who was more like an active person. Yeah. Like my buddy Raj, like Raj does CrossFit and stuff, so he would be somebody that you could be like, hey, uh, 
Hey, I know I got a hundred bucks to make this video. I'm going to get you all the food and stuff you need for seven days. Uh, and maybe a weight suit, whatever they use. Yeah. And then you would film him and document it. But like, cause that one for me, it wouldn't work because I would just give up because I know I couldn't do that. Yeah. Well, what you should do is just get like a true, like uh true. So like a true, like person, I mean, there's people obviously for like the, like real MMA fighters that, you know, cut weight. It, yeah. But like maybe we go fucking knock on what's his name's door, Anthony. John, dude, I know I took I took him home from the airport one time. He owes me. Yeah, maybe you just go knock on his door and be like, hey, can you put us in touch with like your like your weight cutting guys, like to yeah, just make yeah. like a documentary type of well, thing. Well, I'm sure even just he could tell us enough inside. Like he's yeah. been around it for so long. Uh, like so then I have some big ones, right? I got some big ones. I, I mean, I can tell more of this idea because no, if you go steal it, like good luck because yeah. You, you're going to need a lot of stuff, but I got one that Kyle and I have talked about before and it's Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. And that's like, that's got viral potential, man. Yeah. Chick-fil-A is not about, open on Sunday. It's going to be so the funny. Thing, are you got it. Are you talking like just for Instagram? Uh, so my plan, I'm still trying to figure out my plan, but right now I have minute Instagram videos, but I have the, this, this other one, there's no, way I'm going to be able to get to a minute. So I'll probably start posting a, a YouTube video too. But then I'm trying to figure out if it makes sense to do just like one YouTube video every six, five days, yeah. or if I put my one minute Instagram videos on that too. So I'm trying to figure that out still. So that's what I figured some, who the hell was I looking at? Um, because then like, there's so many ways you can look at it. Like the way Gary Vaynerchuk does it is he just does like a 40 minute episode basically of a podcast. Yeah. And then he has guys that go in and cut out all these little pieces of, of content. And it's like, oh, that makes sense. But if to just make little pieces of content and then try and sprinkle them in seems seems yeah. harder. Yeah. Speaking of Gary Vanderchuk, so you remember my boy? Uh, what was his name? Ned. Oh yeah. No, I forgot about Ned. But Dude. yeah, what's he doing now? So he's just like, I think he's gay for Gary Vanderchuk. Oh, he's, he's just like has. Oh, we back. Oh yeah, what baby. Happy Tuesday. Word of the day. Remember the words of the day, like or or like. Remember when like sponsorship deals used to be like this program's brought to you by the letter a good times yo check it out word of the day elevate elevate in business make the extra sales call give them the service elevate to that level you know where you can go at home elevate with your spouse care for them love them serve them love on them with your kids elevate go to the level that you know you can go use this video as your like little like tipping point to say yeah elevate i love that word that's the word of the day yo elevate Have an awesome day i appreciate you and i'll see you soon can we get a song Peace. yeah let's see he just uh, posted this he just posted this song <laughs> massive gay vibes but i don't think he's gay I better not. No, play I need one of him. I need one of him rapping. Uh, oh, he raps. Here's the, here's the problem with the elevate word of the day, right? What happens when you wake up in two days and you just elevated twice? Then now you're <laughs> levitating. Yeah. Now you're now you're dead. Yo, yo, yo! Happy Thursday. I love love now because I literally took this from Gary Vee and I love Gary Vee. There's a Gary Vee you know, shout out, dude. He seriously so many videos he's given Gary Vee shout outs. Well, so, here, here's, here's the question. Do you think he films that one take and just goes? Or do you oh, think yeah. He, man, that's crazy. Here's his song. Please just get this in your mind. Because, baby, it feels like we're running out of time. Let sweets go. Let sweets go. Eat your plants because heavy. Get a drink. Like, I think somebody told him, like, like he just threw some words into like the Batch- Backstreet Boy song, and they're like, "Oh, that's fucking good. You should record that." And yeah. it's just like uh, he's elevating, dude. He's elevating right now. Yeah. So speaking of music, and you know Sami, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog, this is interesting. So Sami is my buddy who used to do the marketing for Acorns, and I'm doing this big game with him. AtlasEmpires.com. Go sign smartest, up. Dude. Yeah, super smart dude. One of the best marketers in the world. Swapping emails with Mark Cuban. Uh, and you would think, I mean, I, I don't want to tell Mark Cuban, Cuban's email, but I'm sure he has like massive like spam protectors, but it's a pretty funny email. 
I mean, nobody's going to actually email him, right? <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sure there's some people who are like, I wonder if this is Mark Cuban's email. Well, I'm, I'm, can I guess? Yeah, I think I told you. No, you never told me. Oh. I want to guess, though. Yeah. I bet you it's just Mark Cuban at Gmail or Mark.Cuban. Yeah, yeah it's, I think it's like mcuban at Gmail or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's just I, something I could... super just like, oh, that, okay. <laughs> He's a normal <laughs> dude. But uh, speaking of Mark Cuban, though, he we were watching Shark Tank Marathon yesterday, and he always has like the worst, like most like awkward jokes that he laughs at himself. Like He'll just be like, He'll try and say something funny and nobody laughs, and then he laughs at him. It's super awkward. He's like an evil villain. But he is an evil villain. But Sami, right? So listen to this story. I've been friends with him for the last few years. Um, you know, he came to my house, and at, while at my house, you know, we got this big $750,000 investment that I got in trouble for telling people early because that's like some Silicon Valley shit. You can't be telling people you're getting an investment when the investment hasn't fully officially signed. I didn't know. Fucking, I didn't know. So in Silicon Valley hustlers. Yeah. So basically I ended up, I told him, I told him like, cause I was doing the promotions for the, Oh, actually. So back to the last episode, you know how I was like, I put like the, the gay dudes kissing in the mm-hmm. video, the promotion for Atlas empires got more views than the pre the real, just straight promotion did, even though Burns did tweet retweet it, but it got more views in, in like engagement within like the first like hour. <laughs> like it, the one Twitter post did way better than like my like side Instagram page posts, my Snapchat posts, and then the other Twitter posts combined. Which is why we both agree that Alex Jones did that on purpose. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah, keep going. So back to Sami, right? So so I was telling him, like, yeah, dude, that was just from a Twitter post. And I don't know if I follow him on Twitter for a while. And I told him something about Twitter. And then he, he made a, a tweet. And I looked at his name and I'm like, it says Sami Khan Music? That was his... That was his handle, Sami Khan Music. So he's uh, I don't I don't want to fucking completely botch this, but Sami, if you can't tell from the name, he's he's a he's an Indian guy, and not he's super Americanized Indian dude. I don't think he's I'm he's gonna get pissed because I'm probably fucking this up because I don't really actually know where he like he's like his roots or where he's from. I would just but, leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. So he, <laughs> so I noticed his Twitter handle is Sami Khan Music, and like if you know the dude, like I. I would just, he's just always just a really smart dude to me. I'm like, why in the fuck is his name Sami Khan Music, right? And so I ask him, I'm like, what's going on here, dog? Like, what, why is your name, you know, what is the music in your, in your Twitter handle for? So the reason he's in, so he's from New Orleans. The reason that he came to LA in the first place was because he was super into music and singing and, and, uh, like he came to LA to like hit it big. And it, so he was telling me that a lot of all of his, like a bunch of his buddies, like have signed with like Sony and, um, you know, a bunch of other places. So I'm like, all right, like you're fucking with me right now. Like, and so he sends me just an audio version and I'm like, is that you? Like, I couldn't even tell it. Right here. I couldn't even tell it. Oh, so you you probably, the music video probably popped up. So like, yeah, secret remedy. Whoop, whoop. so like, Dang, what? Yeah, so you can't... You, I couldn't tell if the audio was here. I'm like, dude, I ain't going to believe you if there's no video evidence. So he sends me multiple music videos. And I, he's what? actually he's like... A, good. Yeah, he's actually like a fucking good singer. And like... So basically, like, he... He was really good at, like, writing songs and, um like, ma- making music, you know? And I'm just like... I was like, holy shit. Like, this is like a secret world. Like, I, and I'm... You know, I talk to the dude every single day. And I had no clue. Isn't that kind of crazy? I mean, I know that you guys listening, like, just imagine, like, you're the person you would think least on your friends list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great way to explain it. The the way to explain it for people listening at home, take the person that you think is, like, the smartest or, like, most athletic, whatever, and then put them in something in the complete opposite realm. Yeah. That's what this is. That's crazy. Yeah, like, he's just, like, too. to me... I, I, I've hung out with him a bunch. I don't think he's like, he's not like, I wouldn't say nerd because he's not like, he's just really smart. He's not like, um, like nerdy. Like, like I'm probably more fucking nerdier than him. Like I'm out here fucking printing shit in my 3d printer, like getting all into it and stuff. Like I'm probably way more nerdier than him, you know? But it's just like, it's just like, Holy what? Like, you know, just kind of like, yeah, that threw me off. I mean, I'm definitely, yeah. That's awesome. So, um, 
that's that is crazy i never would have yeah, guessed and you've, that. yeah you met sami yeah 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 yeah. but yeah he's just like i mean bo bo is obviously waiting oh that's sami right there i'm so tired bo is obviously he's like there is such a different like um like the bo guy so he's partners with uh sami as founders at, at the company um quit messaging me you fuck but he's like he's like a nerdy ass like gangster dude like yeah he is he's yeah, yeah. uh and i mean he says some wild he's just funny too and he's just like he's just like that dude that you just never know if he's fucking around or not like he'll fuck with you and yeah, you'll be like uh, is this guy serious or like uh you know so so kyle and my wife both eat rare steaks and i i can eat it pretty close to rare more medium rare Bo got his the first time i've ever heard of it he i got didn't know his, what it was it's called black and blue style if you guys don't know what that is that's you have to have a nice cut of meat he said and what they do is they take the steak they put it on the grill let it just color for like a minute not even a minute he just Probably, said let it yeah, get I think it. It, yeah more like he a said minute. just yeah you let this like basically the skin whatever or the outside look the get flesh. A, yeah, flesh skin, whatever. Nice little sear. Over. Nice little sear. Basically. Yeah, then you sear it again, and then it comes out. So it's still like, well, blue. It's like still purple. Yeah, it's like side. no warmth or anything on the. So inside. like when you have a rare steak, it still like will bleed. You know. Like yeah. It's still, when hit his was like cold, and he's yeah. like, that's he's like that's the way to eat it. I'm I mean, like, I think I might like it. Like I would try it once with like a really nice, not like a ribeye or something. Like that'd be weird. Yeah. Like a filet or something. I mean, I've had, like I said, I've had rare-ish, pretty rare, medium, like rare-ish though, like to where like, oh, that was probably a little, a little rare for me. I don't know if I could do mm -mm. cold. No. Or like that tartar stuff. You know how people will eat like steak tartare? Yeah. I might be saying it wrong. I would just never trust it. Like I That's would never buy a steak from Fred Meyer or something a lot. Like, you know, like, or like go to Outback and be oh, no. I would do it from Fred Meyer because I've done it from Fred Meyer. Uh, not not super rare, but like I would never go to Outback and be like, uh, "Can I get rare, that please. rare?" Because it's like I just don't. Well, trust they're them. buying in bulk and they're yeah. getting the cheapest. I mean, they're getting probably nicer steaks, but they're also getting them at such a uh, yeah. bulk pricing that you don't know. And I mean, you also don't know who's cooking the steak. Like, how rare like, is your rare, motherfucker? Like, what you what you talking about? Because like I ordered a steak rare from this golf course when we went and golfed. And you know, fillet, and it was perfect like the most perfect, not like too like cold, it wasn't cold or anything, it was like the perfect rare, you know. But I've also got rare where it's like, and it wasn't the right cut of steak, and you literally like you don't get a sirloin rare, do you? No, no, no. Well, so at your birthday party, me, Keone, and Drew, and somebody else, we all got a medium rare, and my medium rare it was one of the, that, that's still like the it was so good it was yeah. juicy i believe i got rare seared. for my birthday and it was yeah, super I rare i think and then well so keone who got medium rare and he likes it more medium he cut into his and it was rare like legit rare, rare. yeah and he's just like oh man so then they, they had to go refire it and stuff see but i can i don't have the yeah. heart to do something like that I think you own, I, or you not would you, if you wanted it medium I, rare. And you yeah, I was gonna say, rare. I think that's like, yeah. But I've, I, if it's like, I got a burger or some for some reason, and I said no mustard, and they put mustard on it, I'm not like, hey, take it back. Like I'm just yeah. gonna be like, oh, I'll eat it. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I could see it if I got a steak though, and I, I know, see, because I would just eat it rare. You're right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm. I remember we went to Black Anus. I meant Black Angus, <laughs> and I got a, I got a. Uh, I think I got a rare or a medium rare steak and it was like super raw and stuff, but I was also drunk. Oh, so no, I so was just, just like, ah, whatever, you know? So your brother made what I guess is the, the uh, biggest mistake you can do. And I've learned this from Bo actually is to go to a hibachi place. And if you don't get the filet at the hibachi, so you get like the steak and shrimp or steak and chicken combo, mm -hmm. you go rare on that steak. I guess is like the worst thing to do because it's like, such a low quality meat for just the steak in the hibachi really? yeah that's what he said he said like if you get like the filet or like something or you're at a nice hibachi but we were at like a nice one we were at like a above average yeah aaron got it rare so that they, they put it on the grill he scooped it with the big thing flipped it over cut it and then served it to him mine cooked for like three more minutes at oh minute. shit dude speaking of like really good looking steak Go. To, you should follow Crowd Cow on Instagram. 
Okay, on it. Like go 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 look at their uh, go. You look. said cr- crowd like see like crowd. Yeah, crowd cow. It's uh, a pretty oh, pretty it. interesting. Whoa! Look at so basically you can order that so you can order like the top of the line like crab beef and stuff. Yeah, look at some oh, of like the marbling on those steaks. Yeah, and I I'm tempted to like try it, but I don't know. Do like I guess it doesn't matter if they like send it like frozen. And so I haven't signed up Dude, for it, but this is crazy. Yeah, so this there's is some a- good ass looking steaks like top of the line ones. So this is a wagyu beef right here. Michelin star chef made it, and it looks like he. Just kissed it. My mouth's watering. Dude, dude. they look. Some of them like the marbling is insane with the fat. Here's the here's the thing that we've. I don't know. We've talked about it. Me and you have before. So like this picture right here, about seven pictures down. Like this guy's got a nice crust on it. You know, a couple flame spots on his steak, right where it looks burnt. Yeah. People do not understand. Like if you take a picture of a steak that's cooked perfectly, it's gonna look a little burnt. But for someone to be like, oh, that's burnt, it's just so crazy to me. You know, you know how hard it is to actually burn a steak? It's almost impossible. Because even after you, you know, sear it and burn it, like the the um fats and stuff still leak through and it makes it look amazing. Like I don't like you don't determine if a steak is burnt. I mean, obviously burnt, burnt if it's extra fucked up, like it's fucked up. But like some people, if it's just like I like it hard sear, like rare medium rare like i don't like i if i can't if i just you know i need like well, that, the whole thing to be colored i believe i mean I'm, someone might correct me if i'm wrong but i believe the way to like the perfect way to cook a steak is to get you know you cook it either reverse sear traeger whatever you do low temp keep the outside pure and then you just flame fire that thing whatever way you can whether it be a cast iron throw it on the barbecue just to get the yeah. color or you have the green egg and that's going to create what, you know, that the uh, what, whatever the science behind it. I can't remember the word. It's like the caramelization. No, it's like the something effect starts with an M miter effect or something like that. And it, but what it does, that's when like the fat burns like that. Oh, okay. It's the best part, dude. The fat basically like deep fries the edge. Yeah, it's so good. Sense. But uh, I mean, I get pretty good reviews on my steaks. I, I, I consider myself a decent steak cooker. But um, I still say to this day, that is the top probably one, two of my life. The woman Bryant was over to. Uh, I can't. I mean, me and Alita talk about it all the time. Like we, it just it cut perfectly and you put it in your oh, and it started melting. I want to go get crunchy. another one of those uh, the tomahawk steaks because I perfected it. The first it was me, James and Jack and I perfected it. Oh, you sent me the picture. And then the second time I talked it up to Rachel's dad and stuff. And I, I think I just overcooked it. Well, that one, that, that's a tough cut, man. That's like, it's a thick steak. Yeah. But it's also like kind of small. This, uh, what, what's this? What, uh, radius, you know? Yeah. So you, it leaves you a little room for like, you kind of can screw it up easy. Yeah. I wouldn't cook it. I'm going to, maybe I'm going to eat one tonight. I'm not going to eat all day and I'm going to eat one of those. I've been back doing the diet than the last night, but fucking Keone left some of his Ben and Jerry's here, like oh, a yeah. full thing. And I sat and looked at it for like five minutes and I'm like, <laughs> fuck it. And it just, Dude, we're the worst. We and you are the worst. Like, uh, once it, once you open that door, it's like, you know, I've already done it. So, yeah. So, so I, it makes me relate to dr- fucking people on drugs. Like, think oh, about, yeah. like, the hungriest you've ever been and being on a diet, and you're like, the fuck is this dude calling me for? God damn it. I already told you I'm doing a podcast. He called you again? Yeah. I already... It must be close to an hour. We're flowing. Though. I'm not stopping, man. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, What's up? It's Joseph Costello who's calling me. Man, <laughs> pick it up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Still recording. Uh, I said I'll call an hour. Is this important? You fuck. <laughs> uh, uh. So hey, let's call him. Let's let's call him. Call his ass. I want to do us. Oh, he, he's just saying he's bored. What the fuck? Is oh. he a damn chick? <laughs> You're alive. Three million people. Hey, here's Joseph. Leave me a message. Not the time. Oh. He doesn't he's fucking gonna, answer. He hater button to you, man. Uh, I gotta get off this craps page, dude. 
I'm getting hungry. Can you hear me? Hey. Yeah, I can hey, hear man. you. Don't be saying anything on the DL because we're still doing the podcast. So what the fuck? Are you really just calling me because you're bored? Yeah, I don't know why. Are you at the pet store? What are you doing? Oh, you saw the picture I sent you? Yeah, I kind of saw it pop down. What was that? What do you think about it? It's my dog. Just take a look at it one more time. <laughs> this is what I got to deal with here, ladies and gentlemen. His fucking dog is just sitting on his ass outside. Doesn't, doesn't she look like a gorilla? Dog, you're telling me that you were... You are in a house. You're in a damn apartment. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, nah, you had a little setback. <laughs> All right, bro. Do your thing, bro. Just holler at me. I just really wanted to show you a couple weird pictures. I might send them to your phone. All right, Ooh. man. Send them, send them away, dude. I'm going to put them on the podcast, so. Nah, I don't know if, it's a, if you're allowed to do that, but all right. I'll send them. All right. Uh, I want to I want to uh, turn the direction really just shortly to uh to sports. I want to talk about Aaron Rodgers first and that uh, that deal. So those of you listening, Aaron Rodgers signed the biggest deal in the history of professional football, which is going to keep getting – we've talked about it. It's going to keep getting every time. It's going to be more and more and more. Oh, but yeah. I want to pull up this stat really quick. Hold on. It's right here. I, I have it. Hold on one second. I don't, I don't like Aaron Rodgers anymore. Like, he's a fucking weirdo to me. All right. I think it's – I believe it's right here is the – the stat oh my gosh where the heck is it okay 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 aaron Rodgers. oh my gosh it just okay 100 million 100 million dollars guaranteed kirk cousins had the record at 84 million guaranteed so here's the stat i i, I screenshotted and saved to my computer the packers will pay aaron Rodgers the equivalent of four hundred thousand dollars per day for the next 200 days Four hundred thousand dollars a day, and that's insane. That's guaranteed. That's so. So that I mean, that's the two next two hundred days. Then he keeps getting paid. I, oh man, I'm with you. Oh, I just it kind of blows my mind that. Well, I'm not a Packers fan, so maybe they like him more. But that's a lot of money to put on a guy who one keeps getting injured, and two, it's like he's gonna get older. Yeah, imagine like I mean he's is good, but as, you know he's kind of got like the Tom Brady effect. He's on your team, you know. You're gonna you know have a decent season if he's playing, but it's like every like what have they done much since they won the Super Bowl? No, because they tied all their money up into him, man. I don't know. I I, I people out there might be saying that Roll oh, Rogers is the best quarterback. You got to pay him, yada yada yada. I, I mean, I get that. I get that's like the OBJ defense as well is. If the Giants didn't pay him, somebody else would, so they had to pay him. Yeah. So I get I get that defense in a way, but at the same time, like that is a lot. I mean, but that's you also I mean, it money. is how it is though. I mean, think name like a top team who hasn't done that. No, exactly. Well, Kirk Cousins is a perfect like he was the highest paid quarterback at eighty four guaranteed. Like it's gonna keep happening. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of. The MVP always comes down to who the best quarterback is. I mean, it's, it's been like that for years. So if you have the best quarterback, you have to pay for him. I just do think that it is a, an insane amount of money. What's crazy, though, is like, look at like the Patriots who actually win, and they don't do that stuff. Well, because Brady's smart, and he, like, what did he do? He, like, uh, backloaded his contract. Yeah, so well, him like winning. I mean, the Super Bowls, I want to probably do more for your – I mean, obviously, I guess not no fucking $30 million a year. But, I mean, you base – I mean, yeah. I guess – I mean, he's won a Super Bowl. Why not get paid? I mean, yeah, he was no, already I, getting paid a shitload, but, like, it's uh, – Well, you couldn't – it's tough to make an argument that at this – on today, you have a team. And no team has a quarterback, and you have the best team, and you get to pick your your pick of all the quarterbacks. I do get that it's tough not to put him as your one to roll out there. Yeah, yeah. But you could also say like, well, if you're the third pick and you get Russell Wilson, you're not in a bad spot. You know, well, you're look the when the pick, Seahawks it, were, you know, at their prime, they weren't, they weren't paying. paying him. You know, because they well, were able the to same pay thing with people. Flacco. Didn't they? You know, the Seahawks are trying to trade for uh, Cleo Mack. Yeah, but I saw that the Raiders want two firsts, and that's that's. I would still do it just because 
Nobody Why ever not? gets two first though when they ask for two first. Yeah, I would throw Earl Thomas in a one tomorrow. And yeah, be like, Here you go. it's like Odell Beckham. Yeah. They wanted two first, but like, when yeah, is the last time traded. anybody was ever traded for two first? I think you want me to. I guess I'm pretty sure I know who it is. I think it was RG three and Sam Bradford. That was two first. The Browns. The Browns uh, got two first for somebody really? for that pick. I believe so, but that was more for the pick. I think. Yeah, but that's different though, because you're trading, no, you're, you're right, trading you're right, you're right. A, a future first, but they also yeah, traded yeah, 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 for a yeah, yeah. first round, like they you're swapped right. spot for the first round pick. So, so I don't think there. So has it's been. Only, that's still I'll only look. like one. Man, poor RG three. I love watching that dude, but then he just turned to dog shit. I also love when the Seahawks played Washington in the playoffs that he blew his knee out. But you know, I wasn't thinking about that. Basically, ended his career. You know, I wasn't really thinking about you know the future, dude. Good call. The last time it's happened was 15 years ago, and it was actually Seattle got the two firsts for Joey Galloway to the Dallas Cowboys. That's the last the last time, according to this website. Joey Galloway. Yeah. Remember he held out and like wouldn't play, and then so then they traded him for two ones. Yeah, fuck. We- well, so Nick Foles, the he won the Super Bowl. And the Eagles said that they wanted two firsts for him. Everyone's like, hey, go suck a dick. And now they still have Nick Foles as their backup. Like, yeah. you're right. You're 100% right. Like, that's a tough, that's that's yeah. a lot. Yeah, unless they're, I mean, obviously people have done it swapping that first pick. You're, yeah. Swapping the first round picks of that year, then a future first. But, like, just two first round picks straight the fuck up. Like, Sam Bradford trade. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I, and I want to say too, like it, it has happened another time where it was uh, like pre, and I want to say the Browns did it, but it was for, they got picks back too. So it was all weird because yeah. Garoppolo even didn't go for two ones. Which man, he was fucking good. I like this little excursion talking about sports. Um, well, let me, uh, I'm going to bring one more sports one up. I also screenshot at this. This is a hundred bazillion percent real news. This is not fake. Did you see what Brittany Griner said? Oh, here we go. Brittany Griner, 100% real. She has been backed up on video. There's video evidence of this and video evidence of her talking about it and people defending it. She said that she could beat DeMarcus Cousins in one-on-one. Oh. And then defended it and said, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then so they're at Team USA stuff right now. And they put the camera in these NBA guys' faces who are trained by now to be like, professional brand friendly you know like nba players are super like politically correct right are you sure though i mean sometimes there's a lot of well, like i mean like if a uh, team usa stuff like this yeah, is like okay, an interview, okay. not like on instagram and yeah stuff, but like like four cameras in your face and a light like they're more like oh yeah like they give more of the right answer yeah they like so they put in kevin durant's face and he's kind of like does this at first and he's looking around like what do I say? And he's like, really? Like, sorry, I'm going to go cousins on that. So they start asking those people that like, so then Deandre Jordan's like, Oh, I, I'd pay to see that. Like, Oh, that'd be cool. And then, but you could tell he's like, just trying to avoid the question. The mellow does the same thing. He's like, Oh, it would be fun to watch that. While, they, then, while they're smiling and shit. Like, then they ask Draymond. He just goes, no way. <laughs> yeah. The thing is like, and I, you know, I consider myself, you know, a little bit above average, like athletically. But, like, there's part of me that says, like, I feel like maybe there's some girls in the WNBA, you know, like, you know, like the really good, fast, quick ones that I'm like, like, you know, like I probably. Or yeah, but, but, like, even then, but, like, like, I know she's, Griner's really tall and shit, but, like, I feel like I could beat her. <laughs> like, like, not, I'm yeah. not even, like, no, over exaggerating, but I feel like I'm a pretty. Because she would try and go down on the block because that bitch ain't shooting, like, you know, mid-range, right? And, you know, I'm you know, 220 pounds. Like, I, I don't know. How much does she weigh? Does it say anywhere? They're Bro, probably super you, weird. Watch that. Oh, you can't watch it, huh? No. But, like, they're just – um, I feel like I could, like, beat her. Uh, her weight is Brittany Griner, Wikipedia. Because I'm at least stroking three. She's not defending me. From the fucking arc, dude. She's six nine. Don't they don't have her weight? Yeah, that's so stupid. Obviously. Isn't that crazy? Like, probably none of them have their weight on there. But she's, but she's no, I, I see what you're saying. So like, so let's say let's she's not nine. athletic. Let's be real. She's not fucking athletic at all. She's, well, she's just six, nine. huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She wears a men's 17 shoe. God, imagine having sex with her. <laughs> not, yeah, not, yeah, just because she's just so big and just be like, this is fucking weird, dude. But she's also just like a big fucking Goomba, isn't she? Okay, she's she's 205. So she's 6'9", 205. See, I weigh more than her. So, no, so now let's let's look at it this way, right? And she would have zero leverage. Game okay, over. Yeah, I'd yeah, beat yeah. her. 100% I'd beat her. So let's just take a 6'7", 205 guy. I'm just for comparison, right? So 205, that's 6'7", 205. I mean, that's that's a twin. That, that's yeah, tough. that's super skinny. So then you got to add another two. So I'm just saying, let's say you're playing that guy. So Dave Wild. Let's say Dave Wild, right? Let's say you're playing him. He's 6'4", probably 210. Yeah. Even somebody at 6'4", and a dude, I still would say that you, him backing you down isn't like a crazy advantage for him. Plus, you would be able to step out all game. Yeah, yeah. That's a six four dude who's, uh, you know, a hiker athletic wise. Because the only way she wins, you know, playing half court, she checks up. She would have to back me down, like every play. She's not getting around me. She's not, you know, dribbling like, she, like she fucking runs in slow motion. Now that works. Well, you know, you know, females are a lot small. She's just a massive for the league, the WNBA league. But I think I can get her. I, I just. So I would say in a game, uh, if I took Maya Moore, right? Who is, I don't know if she's the best anymore, but at one point she was. Yeah. I say in a game of one on one to 11, half court, I say, because she can shoot, I say you guys play three games. The final, you each split one, and then the final one, it's going to be like a seven to 11, whoever gets hot. Yeah. And it's, that's it's like the way, best. I'm yeah, saying it's, that's the best girls basketball player in the world. It's way different. Like, so you take that with like a dude in the, the NBA. Like, I ain't fucking like me playing like Russell Westbrook. Like, I don't think I'm even going to, I might score a You're point. You're not scoring or two. a point. No. Yeah. Oh, doubtful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, what are you gonna do? Dribble by him? What he's not gonna let you? Yeah, him. no, <laughs> I'd be calling fouls and shit, and like heaving. So, but, and if he yeah. played hundred percent serious, you know, you yeah, know. exactly, exactly. But like, I don't, I don't know. I, I just so so Jamal Crawford, who lives used to live right down the street from where I live now. He used to go to the uh twenty four hour fitness right by my house. My buddy I went to high school with would play, you know, shoot and rebound one stuff with him when he'd just go goof around there. He's, they would play 21. Crawford would just goof around, work on his dribbles, cross him up and stuff. The one time that he I said, can you play serious with me? He said, five points. I'll play serious. He said that he couldn't even dribble the ball. Really? He said that, he said that the way that he came up and like made it seem like he could dribble, he knew like where he was going to put the ball down and he would just steal it and then go right by him and lay it up. He said that he beat him 5-0 and he got, it wasn't even make it, take it. Yeah. Fuck. And that's Jamal Crawford. Yeah, and he he is you know pretty damn good, but I just think like yeah, I, the NBA guys maybe like this. There is no small guys. It's crazy how you'll be like, oh, Brea yeah. small. I'm gonna look. Brea small, dude. And then you, yeah, he looks small because he's next to fucking giants. But he's even uh, well, John Wall's like six five, and he's yeah, he looks guard. small. Like Mike Bibby looks yeah, small. Exactly. Like, there's really not many, like, even the small dudes are, like, six foot. Like, um, well, Nate, Nate, Nate Robinson was an actual small dude. Well, yeah, and Isaiah's, like, 5'9". Yeah. All right, here's a, here's a list right here. But that Even 5'9", is, like, if you saw a dude 5'9", you wouldn't be like, look at that fucking midget, you know? So, 5'9", is Nate Rob and Isaiah are both listed as 5'9". Nate Rob was the slam dunk on... Tuss winner three times at five yeah. foot nine. See, he probably. He's, I know exactly why he's not in the NBA. I mean, obviously, it'd be pretty late now, but like he was out pretty early, and I have a feeling it's a lot to do with because he's probably exactly how his brother is. And me and Colby oh, went to yeah. college with Nate Robinson's brother. His name was Chicken. Yeah. But I mean, they were the most inconvenient. Well, not they, but Chicken was the most inconvenient. He was cool at times, but he was also just like the most fucking inconvenient person to be around. Like, like God, dude, this dude just is like he was just consistently. I don't want to say an asshole, but he was just like he was just fucking clueless. Like he was one of those dudes that Different would. Breed. Yeah, he was one of those dudes. He was always. I mean, I would say he was nice though. He wasn't ever a dick. 
I mean, probably not nice to you because you would ref some of the the basketball games. But like knowing him, like I, he was always like cool to me. But at the same time, I'm like, I I would watch him do like like he would. He's the type of dude that just shows up to the basketball court and just assume in a nice way. He assumes he's on next. He's not gonna fight you or anything over. He's just like, I don't give a shit. I'm on. Like, what are you gonna do? Type of thing, you know? Yeah, you're definitely not getting him off. <laughs> yeah, and it's like you can't. He's the type of person you just can't talk. Like, I wonder if he still raps. Like, you just can't like be like, dude. Let's let's put this together like real quick. Like, I sat and watched three games, four games, and like you literally just got here. I've watched the last four games. You were fucking, you know, not here. Like, how does that make any sense that you get to play next? Oh. And then he just goes, "Have you already played today?" I'm like, "Yeah, dude. An hour and a half ago. I've been sitting here watching other people fucking play. Like, what is?" What's so he- I typed in his rap name, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was going to be in the video. I typed in his rap name, and a video from Central came up in the rec center of a pickup, uh, like an intramural game, and he's playing. There's Zeke on his team. Really? Yeah, it's only a 10 second video. Interesting. Oh, I'm not refing though. Man, we had some we had some good times from the. <clears throat> I remember, so Colby's, uh, this might put Phil in bad light, but it's one of my favorite central stories. I, I don't think it actually does put him in bad light because he's a redhead. And I think redheads have like, you know, when it comes to like whatever they say, because everybody makes fun of a fucking redhead and they don't get shit for it, you know? So like, I could say what something. What is this? I don't know. I could say Sorry, like, I could say like, fuck you, Ginger. And nobody's going to be like, Hey, like, it's not, obviously it's not considered racist, but nobody's going to like, if I go, I go, if I go, fuck you, black guy, you know, people are going to be like, dude, what? You know? But if you say like, fuck you, ginger, like nobody's really going to say anything about it. They're not going to give you shit really. You know, even though you're literally doing the same exact thing, you're like saying what that person looks like and using it as a negative. Right. So Phil, um, you know, decent friend, not, I mean, not hangout friend, but I, you know, knew of him, talked to him a bunch. He knew me. Uh, we're at the, at the rec center playing and I can't remember what happened. If I like fouled a dude hard and he didn't like it. Um, but it was a Mexican guy, you know, a a pretty Americanized Mexican dude, not like straight from Mexico or he, you know, he didn't have like an accent or nothing, but, uh, the dude like got my face and Phil just out of nowhere goes, get the fuck out of here, Peter, like as loud as he could. And I'm like, God damn. I'm like looking around. I'm like, you just said that dude, but nobody fucking, nobody even cared. Uh, and I mean, it wasn't, it was predominantly like a lot of Mexicans, black dudes and, you know, some white people and nobody like fucking even thought twice about it. the whole time. I'm like, God damn, that was aggressive as fuck, dude. And that was kind of racist. Like and that was yeah. like true racism. Like, <laughs> like you weren't like just, you know, joking around with your buddies, like, you literally just called that Mexican dude a beaner to his fucking face, like, like, that's fucked up, and nobody else, because the dude had long red hair, like, super ginger, nobody gave yeah, a he fuck. got a free pass. Yeah, literally nobody gave a fuck, and I'm like, he's protecting me, but I'm just like, I, I ain't friends with this guy, he just fucking just, he just went hard and called, called the Mexican dude a beater, like, I, I don't associate with this guy, but nobody cared. <clears throat> like I was the only one that was like, that's kind of fucked up, dude. And even, even the Mexican dude, like, I feel like they had a connection because he was super ginger. He knows what he goes through. Like this dude is a Mexican. Like it's like they, you know, were butting heads, but at the same time they felt each other, you know? Oh, got a kid crying, but may, yeah. So, but nobody else yeah. seemed to care, but I'm, you know, I, I didn't care if nobody else cared, but I'm just like, and it wasn't like, it was just like, he wasn't like, you know, you go to Home Depot and there's like real Mexicans there who are just like, you think they're quiet because they don't speak English, but it wasn't like one of those dudes. He was like a, you know, he was friends with all the guys there. He was like, you know, really outspoken and stuff. And he just, he fucking called him a beaner and threw a basketball at him. And I like, that was like the f- most firsthand racism I've ever seen. And- so the, uh, similar Phil story in the same place, rec center, he, uh, got into a kind of was going at it with a guy pretty much the whole game. And so we were on defense guy went in, uh, called the late foul. Cause he missed the layup type situation. And Phil was at about the free throw line and he gets the ball and just has it. And he's like, are you kidding me? And like says some, I don't even know what else he said, but Phil had a cannon. Oh, yeah. He takes this ball from the free throw line and these guys are on the baseline and he hucks it 
and the dude and the guy are on the baseline by the mat and they both had just like kind of moved backs turned to us because as he called it missile layup called a foul and this ball smacks the mat like maybe a, a maybe a head's length away from the guy and it smacks comes all the way back like full speeds like hit somebody else to where they're like ah like what yeah. and then phil's just like what do you want? Let's check it up there. The guy's just like, did you just throw that at me? He's like, what are you going to do about it? And the guy didn't call foul the rest of the game. <laughs> it was crazy though. Cause I remember being on Phil's uh, team. Yeah, just he, like, Oh he's man. He's like the dude you want to be like friends with, but like, I has he ever actually fought anybody though? I mean, I feel like See, you I have know. to, when you start saying wild card shit like that or be a, at least ready to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like, I mean, he's, he's, a bigger dude was he like six four six five yeah six was it six four probably six four but he yeah. moved well yeah he was pretty but i mean he, he was straight fucking long hair john ryan like ginger you know he it, it, take picture to john ryan that's him yeah uh, another funny phil uh we're intramurals he he was by far the best player towards our end of college to where it wasn't really that fun like we were just killing people in this like summer league because no one really played in this or the spring league no one really played in it yeah so he's goofing off. We're up by like two touchdowns and he, he uh, he's on the sideline not playing defense and he has a SIG in. He's talking with his buddies and stuff. We get a pick and he's like, oh, I'll come back in. So he runs in like the game's pretty much over and he has the SIG in. But we know all the refs and stuff. So they're kind of like, Phil, you can't have that out here. You know, like, what are you doing? And he's like, so then the other team is just like, really, man? He's like, watch me throw a touchdown with this SIG in. And then he's like, so I was talking to shit to these guys. And we're, I'm just like, oh, man, and he, <laughs> oh he gives me this. And that was our sign for, like, go deep. I'm like, oh, man, I got to go deep. Like, this guy's probably going to play so hard. Oh, so shit. they double cover me. And luckily, he doesn't throw it. He's because he's like, he scrambles out to the left. And I, so I turn back. He's not throwing it at this point. He has already has it in his, like, I'm running the ball. I'm like, he's going to try and run a touchdown right now for 60 yards with a cigarette in. <laughs> sure enough, dude, he scored a touchdown with the cig in took the ball, punted it across like the road oh and it left, God. literally left the game. <laughs> and I was his ride. He was my ride. Man, he was my root. You should have filmed all this shit. I wish like, I feel like we don't film enough shit or at least like back, especially back then, like yeah. when it counted. Um, what should we title this? That was a good story to end on. Oh yeah. That was a good one. Oh, um, I kind of already forgot what we talked about. There's a lot of good stuff. Well, we talked about to like fucking spam calls or whatever. Spam uh, calls on your phone. What, yeah, what are those called? They're not spam calls. They're uh, telemarketers. Telemarketers. Yeah. We could, we could be aggressive and say telemarketers or something. Eat ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Proof telemarketers eat ass. There <laughs> it is. All right, fuck. <laughs> uh, we need to get the links and stuff. Remember, go check out... Um, ZipRecruiter.com slash DudeComedy. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash D-U-D-E-C-O-M-E-D-Y. Next episode, Kyle will tell me where I should put all my videos. We, we kind of uh, stopped Instagram's the shit. So actually, you know, last little tidbit. So I was going to talk about Supreme Patty, how he like made it look like he was getting a blowjob in BJ's. If you don't know who Supreme Patty is, he's a very popular Instagram dude who's... He's like the girl version of like... Whoa, Vicky. Like, whoa, Vicky and all those. But they actually, he, and, you know, I don't I don't know why I follow him because I had n never really even laughed at his stuff. But I like to see, like, what people are, like, really into on Instagram. But this motherfucker, which is his second iteration, it really pissed me off because he's in, like, BJ's. He's, like, getting a BJ at BJ's. And a girl's, like, in his lap making it look like he's getting his dick sucked. And I'm like, what in the fuck? Like, how am I getting in trouble for some of this shit when the one of the more popular dudes is posting this? But I w just went and looked at his... Uh, instagram and it's not there so he definitely got a, a violation for that so good job on that one instagram yeah good job on that one dipshit what does he say on happy good more are you on that one dipshit yeah. <laughs> that's what i wanted to that's what i said to, uh when we were in band and dunes and one of the guys had a caddy and he he fucked up a shot and i was just like it was a 16 year old kid and i was just fucking just dropping all the happy gilmore jokes um but yeah let's wrap it up remember check out uh me on instagram epic mtd yep check and, it out and uh that's a wrap put a wrap on it bye